Hi and welcome to this press conference with uh, Kosovar Aslani and Magdalena Eriksson. We will start uh, in English with uh, questions to the players um, and then we will continue in uh, Swedish after that. So raise your hand if you want to ask them a question in English. Um, we can start here in the middle. Hi, sorry. Hi, hi, Magda. Nice to see. You. Um, first off, Magda, look, you know England so well. How good are they, and what would it mean to beat them here in England? Uh, yeah, I think I've been really impressed with England so far in this tournament. I think this game will definitely be our toughest game so far. It's the best team that we're gonna face, um, but we are so ready for this. We've been. Uh, this is our dreams. All of our dreams are added up, and and. Uh, this game is is what we've been dreaming for, and and the reaching the next stage, we're gonna do everything we possibly can. Does it add a little bit extra, potentially beating the hosts in the home nation? Uh, I think reaching that final, that's what we dream of, and uh, the path there. I mean, it will be amazing whoever we face. But of course, I know a lot of the English girls. Um, and this amazing stadium is going to be filled tomorrow with it's going to be a big big atmosphere so yeah winning tomorrow would be so cool uh, but i don't think i think it would have been no matter who we would have faced um magda you obviously play with a lot of the the players in the england squad um how much has peter spoken to you about maybe some of the nuances and, and little things for his tactical plan tomorrow or is it not so much focus on that uh, no i think we have an incredible analytical team that have done their job uh, and they know what they're doing so uh, we put huge trust in them and they they've uh, scouted a lot of the english girls and they know them and of course I can help some of the girls and, and say my mind about different opponents and different different players, but Peter knows his tactics and uh, yeah, it's his job. <laughs> and one for Kosovo, if I don't mind. Um, the game against Belgium was, you were playing against a defensive block. It was difficult to break them down. How different do you think the game tomorrow will be for you and your team? I think it will be a completely different game. I mean, it's going to be two teams that want to play attacking football. I mean, we've seen... England playing like fantastic football so far in this tournament. Uh, at the same time, we also feel like um, it's a game that will suit us. I mean, we're very well prepared for tomorrow's game. And uh, I mean, play against the home nation is a special feeling and uh, it's an exciting feeling. And like Magda said, we, ha we have our analytic teams here that scouted England very well. And, and that's one of our strengths. I mean, we have a fantastic group, but our staff and our analytics and Everyone behind the scenes are top, top quality. So uh, we're well prepared for tomorrow's game. Continue on the, on the floor. <laughs> uh, hi, Magda. Nice to see you. Hi. I just wondered whether or not you've spoken to any of, of your Chelsea teammates in the, in the England squad before this game. No, I haven't actually spoken to them yet. Uh, maybe I'll send them a little message before we play. But of course, afterwards, we will speak. Um, yeah. Yeah, and in terms of dealing with that crowd that you mentioned there, obviously England are going to have all of that support. How will you deal with that as a team? And have you spoken about that in the build-up to this game? I think we have uh, so much experience within our team. So it's it's uh, situations that we've been faced with before. We have the 2016 Olympics where we played Brazil in the semi-final. So we know how it is and we know what, what that will benefit of course, it's, it's in England's benefit, but we can also draw from that that it's going to be extra pressure on them from the crowd to play well. And, and we can go out there and just do everything we possibly can to, to make it difficult for them. Uh, okay. Thank, thank you very much. Um, Kosovari, I just wondered if you could tell us how you are. We, it was reported yesterday that you were quite tired from the quarterfinal. Are you fit and ready for tomorrow's game? I'm fit and ready for tomorrow's game. 
Thank you. And uh, could you also just tell us, um, from your time playing at Man City, how how impressed have you been with the complete transformation of, of the English game since then with what we've seen in this tournament? Yeah, I think they've developed a lot in these uh, last years and especially with changing their coach as well. I mean, uh, they're playing more direct and uh, I mean, uh, they, they developed. and uh, But at the same time, they've had fantastic and still have like fantastic players and a lot of quality in their squad and uh, they're both good defensively and offensively and I mean but at the same time I mean looking at our squad we're uh, we're there too and um, I mean we're excited for tomorrow's game and uh, we're going to play a fantastic team and but at the same time we know uh, we know it's going to be special to play against the home nation thank you good luck thank you Uh, here in the middle, uh, yeah. sunglasses. <clears throat> for for Magda, um, you've obviously had experience as a team winning big semi-finals in the Olympics, which for England, their experience of semi-finals recently hasn't been quite so good. Do you think it's an advantage for you that as a team, you've experienced winning semi-finals, you know what it is to win a semi-final? I think... Um Myself as a person value experience a lot uh, because I know how much I've grown with experience and how much experience gives you confidence and uh, having done things before uh, makes doing it again easier, you can say that. With that being said, tomorrow is not going to be easy and tomorrow probably it won't matter because it's a game of football. Um, but for me personally, I like experience, I grow with experience and I grow that gives me confidence. And if we talk about experience, experience of recent tournaments is that Sweden as a group seem to, the final tournament seems to bring out the best in you. You all seem to somehow combine brilliantly and even against other teams who have just as good a player, somehow you seem to have the edge over them. What do you think has made Sweden that sort of team in recent years? I think one thing is the experience that we have in our squad. We have fantastic players who have played many games and who have been with us for so long and they add something to the group, that winning culture uh, kind of thing. And I think also we're an extremely tight group and the togetherness is really strong. So we are willing to do everything for each other. And the goal we have is, is so like a common goal that we all strive for in everything we do uh, and it's so clear in every training session in in all the chats around the dinner table is about how we can go as far as possible so i think uh, it's the experience but also that hunger that we always want to win thank you thank you do we have a final english question before we continue in swedish okay perfect